Bowl Coaching. I'm Sonia Brotherton and this is Don Terrio. We're here today to show you how to bandage the horse. So just to demonstrate with the two bandages here, you'll notice that one is considerably wider than the other. And also longer. So you get at least one more turn around the leg with that one. Okay, so first we make sure the leg is clean. So first I'm going to show you the cheaper bandage, the slightly thinner, shorter one, just to demonstrate the difference between how you'd apply the two. So we start with a slant, with it slightly pointing, starting from front to back, with it pointing towards the ground. So rather than like this, start with a slant, just below the knee. And because this is a shorter bandage, I'm going to make my turns. So you notice I've done one, two, three so far. Four, five. I'm going to go six, one, past the sesamoids. So this is a suspensory apparatus at the back of the fetlock. We don't want to cut through it like that with the bandage because this could damage it. So we're going underneath the sesamoids and back up again. Notice the width between my turns. Now here you've turned your tab down and then finish the bandage. So it's important that you haven't pulled it tight as you're doing it. You've started at the top, you've gone down the leg, past the sesamoids, and then back up the leg with the same amount of pressure all the way down. And you don't pull it tight, it's firm. Next I'm going to apply the longer, thicker bandage and you'll notice that I'll make my turns slightly closer together so that the bandage is used up by the time I get to the top again. So again, we start with a slant, so not like that, it's a slant from just below the knee and front to back, so front of the leg towards the back of the leg. Get out any wrinkles as you go. So I'm going to make my turns narrower this time. And pass the sesamoids again, back the leg, and back up. Turn the tab down. Finish the bandage off. Now check as you feel down the leg, you're feeling that it's even pressure and there's no lumpy, bumpy bits. So back legs are slightly longer than front legs and they will take up more of the bandage. We're going to start just below the hock. I've tied his tail up, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And again starting with a slant. Bandage down and I'll make these turns slightly wider because his back legs are longer. Old fashioned term for these bones is the cannon bone for the front leg and the shannon bone for the back leg. Again, we're going past the sesamoids just here so we don't cut through them. And I'm applying firm, even pressure. I'm never pulling it really tight, but any pressure I am applying is across the front of the leg on the bone rather than on the tendon. Go back up the leg, turn the tab down, and complete the bandage. Now it's so, so important that you start at the top, bandage down, back up, and finish. Don't go down, up, back down again, and have some extra turns in the middle, because that will be uneven pressure. So to tie the tail up, you need to put your arm underneath it, wrap your wrist around, pass the end of the tail into that hand and pull it through. There we go. So one more back leg now and I'm going to apply this in normal speed as I would if I was working. So you can just see what you're aiming to achieve once you're really practiced in the art of bandaging. Turn the tab down. 
There we go. So for extra protection, you can use a pad under the bandage, and I'll show you how to apply that next. So if you have a pad as well, wrap that around the leg just below the knee. Aim to go from front to back again with your overlap. And then leave it so it's not on any tendons. Again, starting with a diagonal slant down towards the ground. And because the pad will have made the leg thicker, you won't need so many turns down the leg. It will take up more of the bandage. High firm, even pressure. Turn your tab down. And check. It's smooth and even. Undo the belt throw. And then don't try and roll it up as you take it off. Just grab and pass it from hand to hand, grabbing as you go. So now we come to roll the bandage and it's essential that you start with the velcro end and put it to the velcro on the bandage. So we've got velcro to velcro and we start rolling. I find it works to do it on the front of my leg and then you can go really, really fast. So here we have the handsome Dante sporting his full set of polo wraps or fleece bandages as they're otherwise called, ready to go and do some work.